once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go. Hello, Life is okay. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. So, guys, how have you all been? Kwaze, how is your week so far? Hey, Kabaridi too. So, guys, um, before I start the video, I would really like to appreciate all of you guys because so, guys, on the channel, I've been receiving so much support from you guys. You've been liking my videos, subscribing. So, the growth has been rapid and positive. Thank you all so much. Please keep subscribing and please like the video, comment, like, share, and please don't forget to turn on the post notification bell, guys. So today we're going to be doing a story time on how I was almost kidnapped, struck drug in town. So guys, stay tuned. Please watch the video till the very end. I love you all so much. So guys, <laughs> story lens are like this. So on a certain back the eve of my, uh, I was on my way from school, heading to town to do some one, two, three. And then on the way, I saw this, this old guy, but I just decided to ignore him. Little did I know, guys, he was telling me. So... I decided that, ah, uh, let me give him my attention and he's either can attack her because it was really nagging me so much. And then I went, once we're done, I go and do my business. So we stepped aside, moved from the crowd, and then I decided to listen to what he wanted. So guys, he, he told me that he had won a bet and he's from, from, see, Tasimu Shagwal, go and talk. Yeah, he was from a certain village, so he's, he's new in town, Nahajuin too, and uh, he doesn't know English that much. So he told me that I should help him translate what the betting company people are telling him and directing him on how to get his money. Once I was done, I was, uh, I was about to leave and then he stopped me again and told me, you know, little girl, I have another problem. And then he told me that he tried his first attempt to go get his money, but there's some taxi guys who have marked his face that they threatened his life. So he should send a stranger to get the money on his behalf. So guys... For me growing up, um, respecting my elders is something I don't compromise at all. So me just so he's an old man and why should I even ignore him? No, also guys, you know, I'm most of the time I'm an indoors person. I'm not used to interacting outside so much. So I really never expected such an encounter at in Japan and one. Yeah. So uh, to Kanza, we started uh, the discussion, planning on how we're going to get that. The, the betting com company is at Ambassador's Hotel, a certain room. So, he's going to give me his ticket, I go pick the money for him, and then he's going to give me my card, 10k, guys. And remember, guys, that, that birthday sequence with Japanga release is really like, I didn't have a very big celebration for it. So, at some point, there was a voice telling me, hey, baby girl, chukwaido, what if it's legit? So, um, Akasema, so since he's giving me something valuable, his check, that I should also leave him something. First, I summon him by ID, my a national ID, and by bad luck, I, me, I don't, I rarely work with my ID. So, Akasama then uh, give me your phone, I I hold your phone, let me check, and then you go get me my money, and then you come, and then Ukishakuja, Nakusat, Tenke, Yako. So, at some point, I was somehow naive, I was this close to going and getting his money, so I, I gave him my phone. And he gave me his check. So, uh, two steps on as a trip up on next to Ambassador's Hotel. So, as soon as I was just standing to go get the money, you know, you can change your books. Yake. And then some something just came into my mind. An impulse came into me and told me, Wait, have you asked yourself questions like, Apo Ambassador's Hey, are they are you going to get kidnapped, robbed, or does it even really exist? And then in my mind I said like, ah guys, Ambassadors is just a hotel for rooms. Since I scared to know if you hey, and then I just turned back quickly and told him, hey, then it is to me So he gave me my phone and he was so furious. After he gave me my phone, guys, I was really walking so quickly as if I was walking on hot shelf for you guys. So um, on, reach on reaching home, I told my mom the <laughs> encounter and she was really frozen and she said that is why she had felt something earlier that something bad was going on yeah. and then later on i was so afraid to open it to opening up to my dad but <laughs> my mom did it and my dad was so angry and concerned at the same time and he told me to be more cautious on the street yeah nairobi not everyone is your friend so um a few months later it also happened to my sister Yes, 
that the same guy approached her but this time around she was more keen and cautious with him yeah she did not fall into his trap so guys um from this encounter i learned that um, i should not trust people easily especially strangers yeah when you're walking in town just mind your business yeah no matter how the person looks like or the age of the person just conman can just be anyone yeah guys so thank you for watching my video up to this part i love you all so much like comment subscribe share see you on the next video